Another day, another story. The full story of the British occupation of Australia is a complex and multifaceted one, involving exploration, colonization, and the establishment of British settlements in the land down under. Welcome to Tabo Eminent Channel. Early Exploration Prior to British colonization, Australia was inhabited by Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples who had lived on the continent for tens of thousands of years. The first recorded European contact with Australia was in the early 1600s when Dutch explorers made landfall on the western coast of the continent. However, their interest in Australia was limited, and no permanent settlements were established. Captain James Cook In 1770, Captain James Cook, an English explorer, claimed the eastern coast of Australia for Britain during his first voyage to the Pacific. He named the region New South Wales and made contact with the local Aboriginal people. Cook's voyage sparked interest in the potential of the land, particularly as a potential location for a British penal colony. The first fleet, in 1788, under the command of Captain Arthur Phillip, the first fleet of British ships arrived at Botany Bay, New South Wales. The fleet carried about 1,500 convicts, as well as soldiers and free settlers, with the aim of establishing a penal colony. However, the site was deemed unsuitable for settlement, so they moved slightly north to Port Jackson, now Sydney Harbour, and established the first British settlement there. This event marked the beginning of British colonization in Australia. Expansion and colonization. Over the following decades, British settlers, convicts, and soldiers spread across various parts of Australia, establishing new colonies. In 1829, the Swan River Colony, now Perth, was founded in Western Australia. By the mid-19th century, other colonies were established in South Australia, Victoria, Queensland, and Tasmania. These colonies were mainly based on agriculture and later experienced the Australian gold rushes, which contributed to economic growth and population expansion. Conflict with indigenous peoples. As the British colonies expanded, they increasingly came into conflict with the indigenous peoples who had inhabited the land for thousands of years. There were numerous clashes, dispossession of land, and mistreatment of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander communities. Federation By the late 19th century, the separate colonies began considering the idea of federation to form a united nation. After several years of negotiation and debate, the Commonwealth of Australia was officially established on January 1, 1901, bringing together six former colonies as states under one federal government. The Australian Constitution provided the framework for the new nation, and the first federal parliament was opened in Melbourne. Evolving Relationships Over the 20th century, Australia's relationship with Britain underwent significant changes. Initially, Australia remained closely tied to Britain, considering itself part of the British Empire. However, during World War I and World War II, the nation's identity began to shift and it increasingly saw itself as an independent nation with its own interests and responsibilities. Modern Australia After World War II, Australia experienced a period of significant growth and diversification. The country welcomed immigrants from various parts of the world, contributing to its multicultural character. In 1986, Australia cut its constitutional ties with Britain by passing the Australia Act, formally ending the ability of the British Parliament to legislate for Australia. Today, Australia is a vibrant, multicultural nation with a parliamentary democracy and a constitutional monarchy, where the British monarch is recognized as the head of state, represented by the Governor-General of Australia. The legacy of British colonization, both positive and negative, continues to shape the nation's history, society, and culture. Efforts to address the injustices faced by indigenous communities and promote reconciliation have become important aspects of contemporary Australian society. The Eureka Stockade, 1854, during the Australian gold rushes of the 1850s, tensions rose between miners and colonial authorities in Ballarat, Victoria. The miners, who were often subject to unfair working conditions and exorbitant mining license fees, rebelled against the authorities' oppressive rule. On December 3, 1854, the situation reached a boiling point when a group of miners, led by Peter Lalor, erected a makeshift stockade at the Eureka diggings, symbolizing their defiance. The authorities attacked the stockade, leading to a bloody clash known as the Eureka Stockade. Although the miners were defeated, 
the event became a significant milestone in the struggle for democratic rights and representation in colonial Australia. The explorations of Burke and Wills, 1860-1861, in 1860, the Royal Society of Victoria organized an expedition to cross the Australian continent from Melbourne in the south to the Gulf of Carpentaria in the north. Robert O'Hara Burke and William John Wills were appointed as the leaders of the expedition. The journey was fraught with difficulties, including harsh terrain, supply shortages, and poor decision-making. Tragically, Burke, Wills, and several others perished during the expedition. Their ill-fated journey became one of the most famous and controversial exploration attempts in Australian history, highlighting the challenges faced by early European explorers in the vast and unforgiving Australian outback. The Stolen Generations One of the most dark and troubling aspects of the British occupation of Australia was the forced removal of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander children from their families. From the late 1800s to the 1970s, government policies aimed at assimilation resulted in the forced removal of indigenous children from their communities, who were often placed into institutions or foster care with non-indigenous families. The children who were taken in this manner are collectively known as the Stolen Generations. This period of Australian history had a profound and lasting impact on indigenous communities, leading to trauma, loss of culture, and identity struggles. Ned Kelly and the Kelly Gang Ned Kelly is one of Australia's most infamous bushrangers, who became a folk hero and symbol of resistance against colonial authority. Born in Victoria in the mid-19th century, Kelly's family was involved in clashes with the police and was often at odds with the law. In 1878, Kelly and his gang engaged in a series of brazen and violent bank robberies. Kelly's exploits and the resulting manhunt captivated the public's imagination, leading to widespread support and sympathy for him and his gang. Eventually, Ned Kelly was captured and hanged in 1880, but his legend lives on as an iconic figure in Australian folklore. These additional stories provide a deeper insight into some of the significant events and figures that shaped Australia's history during the British occupation and beyond. Each story sheds light on different aspects of the country's past, including exploration, conflict, social issues, and cultural resilience. Thanks for watching. Request you to subscribe the channel.